Start over. Start over. Is that thing rolling yet? pretty much lost track of each other for a good you know, 25 years or so. Although Mike, Mike and I kept in touch. Mike and I have been very close over the last, since high school. Been very close. <laughs> <laughs> and then one day, Mike says, Dave, you should go on Facebook. And I said, isn't that for 13-year-old girls who want to talk about their teachers? And he said, no, it's a way he communicates with his students because Mike is a teacher. And so I went on Facebook, put in class of 1980, Trumbull High, <clears throat> And Tony appeared. <laughs> and, and Rich. <laughs> and Rich. Who's, who, who would be standing right here if Rich was in here. Yeah. Rich would say he appeared as well. Yeah. And it was Anthony who said, we've got to get together and get, we've yeah. got to get together, yeah. we've got to get the band together. The band! The band! <laughs> uh, so, so we contacted Rich. Rich was always, you know, already involved in several music projects, but, you know, never one to. And? Uh, and, uh. Well, I'm just going to say, and done. Well, I'm getting, I'm getting so, so Rich, so Rich agreed to do, to do keyboards, and because Doug worked at my wife's bookstore, which is Written Words Bookstore at the White Hill Shopping Center in <laughs> Shop 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 Connecticut, Doug was working there, was plugged. and I just and I and I knew he was a musician, and I said, hey, do you want to be in a band? And he said, sure. I said, do you play bass? He said. I have a bash. I own a bass. I own a bass. And we said that was close enough. Yeah. Yeah. Drums and guitar. Oh, yeah. You play bass? Okay. okay. Yeah. Yes. So we, we, we set up in here with not as much equipment as we have now, actually. And Tony Anthony was playing the same drum set he was playing back in high school. But when we started practicing, you know, things started, things started coming together so rather happened. quickly. Rather quickly. Yeah. And um, we started buying equipment. And we started <laughs> buying equipment, which is what, something we didn't have in high school. See, when you're young, you have all kinds of time, but no, no equipment, no money. When you're older, <laughs> you don't have that much time, but you can put together some equipment. So we put together some equipment, yeah. we put together a set list, we put together some songs, and we, we practiced and practiced and practiced. And in between then and now, Doug went from a complete novice on the bass to yeah. someone who actually can play the damn, <laughs> damn thing pretty to, well. To which string is this? Yeah. <laughs> when he went from which string is this to um, so it's, it's really come together. Uh, we've put together about three hours plus worth of music. And we're working on more. And we're working on more. And what we, we're, we're kind of focusing on every, fun. Well, we're not having, having fun. Really focusing. We're focusing on having <laughs> fun. We play everything from, from the 50s to you know, the 80s and 90s with a focus kind of in the 60s. And, and every song we play, on every stage we've played, every time we start a song, people in the audience go, Oh, oh, I love that song. <laughs> so we wanted to do something different, so we kind of stuck with the high energy rock and roll. We really consider ourselves vintage rock and roll. Vintage, vintage rock, rock, and roll. rock and roll, a little jazz, uh, yeah. a little jazz, a little blues once in a while. <laughs> um, and and we're having uh, we're having the time a of our lives. A great time, boy. Ooh. Yeah, it's worth every penny we spent. <laughs> <laughs> My respected one of the band, this is a lot of fun. It's very comfortable. It's playing with a couple of playing with these guys again, and it's. It's been fulfilling. It's been fulfilling to play these songs, <clears throat> and having to get to know, know everybody again has uh, has been really rewarding. And I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad. The yeah. one thing I noticed is when we got back together, there was no kind of 
I mean, there was no uh, there was no awkward thing. Yeah, there was no awkwardness. Yeah. It was it was almost like we we had we never yeah we picked up like yeah we picked up right where we left off basically. Yeah. There's a there's a history. We may have taken a beer first. You but we probably took another beer. There's there's a history at the foundation of this band that he's really here in what we play and how we play it. There's a history between certainly between the four of us, but even with the five of us now, that that really lends itself to our sound. And by the way, we are old man noises. Get off my lawn!